race fans, I'm Owen McCall coming to you from the New Smyrna Speedway in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. And tonight we have a very special event, the Clyde Hart Memorial 100 lap super late model race. This is the big event that people have been waiting for tonight. Due to a rain delay, we were supposed to start at 7.30, but now it's 10.34 and we're getting the main event rolled off. Here's the starting lineup. On the pole position of the number 51, that is Michael Atwell. To his outside of the 97, that is Brendan Lynn. Row two on the inside of the nine, that is the Jet Concrete Special of Jeff Chiquette. It's the outside in the 20, that is Anthony Sergi. Row three is going to be Daniel Keen in the 5K. And his outside of the nine, it's Brad May. Row four, it's going to be Doug Elliott in the seven. Actually, right now they're going to correct it because drivers are out of place. So right now, I'm wait until they get fixed up here a bit. That's going to be the seven of Doug Elliott out of the zero one. That is Roger Blevins. He's going to be followed up by the 58 of John Kaufman. There's the 50 car of Jet Nolan. They had to push him to get started. In the 57, that is Mark Wilkins. And in the 17, rounding out this field, that is Blaze Hetznecker. Now, Brad May had missed last week's 50-lap pro late model feature. Uh, but someone in his crew had told me uh, that they were out of town in Georgia that week. And they thought it was going to get rained out, but the race was still run anyway, and they missed it. But he's back tonight for a 100 laps in the Super Lates. That 97 of Lynn, this is the first time we've seen him out here all year. The arc, He's made a few Arca starts in the past, and he's back running Super Lates tonight. Now, his 97 should not be confused with the 97 of Cole Anderson that won last week's 50-lap feature for the Pro Lates. Now, if you're asking about that car in the front, that black number 112, that's Gary Hot Shoe Baloo, who's out here tonight showing off his famed number 112 Batmobile car. Uh, he was actually down in the uh, Breezeway here at New Smyrna Speedway signing copies of his new book that is out now. So Gary Baloo's book is out now, uh, Hot Shoe. Go check it out. Go check it out. So his car is pacing the field tonight as well as the Daytona Dodge Pace Truck. But the Clyde Hart Memorial 100 super late model race, 13 of them lined up to go for 100 laps tonight. And before we begin, a bit of a backstory behind this race. Clyde Hart is the man who founded the New Smyrna Speedway. He has since passed. And now his son, Robert, currently owns the Speedway. And every year this race is held in his honor because without him, I would not be filming without Clyde Hart. And there's the Batmobile going by. But without Clyde Hart, even though I have never met the man before, he is with us in spirit tonight because that pickup truck, there's a old pickup truck on the hill on turns one and two. That used to be Clyde Hart's pickup truck. So even though he is no longer here with us physically, he is still with us in spirit tonight with his truck sitting up on the hill in one and two watching the races every Saturday night here at the new Smyrna Speedway. And Michael Atwell's number 51 is going to be leading them to the green tonight. One driver to keep an eye on, not just Atwell, but keep an eye on that second row of Jeff Chiquette in the nine and Anthony Sergi in the 20. Jeff Chiquette is the defending race winner and he's trying to go back to back in here. And Sergi wants to get back to victory lane. Brad May has returned after a little bit of an absence driving a brand new car. Daniel Keene in that 5K. This is the first time in a while we've seen him out here. And plus a few drivers that I don't think we have seen out here in a while. Uh, as I said earlier, you know, Blaze Hetznecker was also here last week in the 50 lap pro late model feature in that 17. He was running super lakes down in Auburndale for a little bit. And uh, we are getting set to go for 100 laps of super late model racing action. Right now, these drivers still getting the tires warmed up on their machines. Ready to go racing.
when the when the green flag drops and these engines get revved up, these cars are going to go flying. And if this race stays green, those 100 laps are going to go by pretty quickly. Right now, everybody is trying to move into position here. Everyone's getting the double up signal. Pole sitter Michael Atwell is going to stay on the inside line of the racetrack. We're getting lined up. Right now, the wind has picked up a little bit here at the New Smyrna Speedway. There's a Hoosier Tires banner down here at the end of the top of the tower that is just absolutely blowing. Right now, the wind has just shoved that thing straight up. It's almost horizontal. Anyway, the Daytona Dodge Pace truck is going to pull into the pit lane. Michael Atwell in the 51 is going to lead them to the green. Green flag is out. We're racing. 100 laps. Side by side for second. Here comes Jeff Chiquette getting the second away from Brendan Lynn. Jeff Chiquette to the inside of Atwell. Side by side as they come up before, down to the line. Jeff Chiquette is the race leader by half a car over Atwell. As they go back to one and two. Brendan Lynn still hanging tough in the third spot. Side by side for fourth. Daniel Keat on the bottom. Anthony Sergi up on the top. Keen trying to get that fourth spot away from Sergi as they come off of four. Now for fifth now, Brad May on the inside of Sergi. Here comes Sergi standing up on the outside. He's gonna slip back. Sergi and May, the two drivers out of Oviedo, Florida, going at it. Right now, Brad May appears to have that spot under a lot. And he does have the line. He has six with Anthony Sergi. Battle for third, Daniel Keen and Brandon Lynn. We're in a battle for third, and he's going to get it. Daniel Keene's going to get it. Now here comes Brad May trying to follow Keene into fourth, and it looks like he will. Here comes Brad May to the inside. Brad May one third away from Daniel Keene. Brad May, after missing last week's pro late model 50, thinking it was going to be a rain out. And he's back, and he's trying to show that he's in business for this 100 lapper. We're not even a quarter of the way done yet. And he's trying to make a charge to the front to make a statement. And they touch. Did they keep make contact? You can see the tire mark on the side of Brad May's new number nine as Brad May gets third away from Daniel Keene as they go at a turn two down the back straightaway. But up front, it is still the defending race winner, Jeff Chiquette. And I was talking before the race. You had Brendan Lynn in that 97. First time this year we've seen him out here. But as I said earlier, that 97 is not to be with Cole Anderson's 97. Lynn actually announced on Twitter that he'd be, uh, back in June, that he'd be coming out here as Brad May tries to work on Michael Atwell for a second. Michael Atwell, number 51, from Naples, Florida. Hanging on that second spot. But Brandon Lynn said he'd be out here running this race. Lynn has made a few ARCA starts this year. And he's here in the Super Late Model Race on 97. He's the only driver not from Florida in this race. He's from upstate New York. So the only not from here. Right now, Brad May is reeled in Atwell in that 51 car per second as they're making a way around a slower car, the 57 of Mark Wilkins. Brad May to the inside. Brad May one second away from Atwell. Side by side, they go through one and two. Atwell looks to have a bit of an advantage in the upper lane, but he's going to stay on to the bottom. Side by side through three and four, May on the bottom, Atwell up high, and Brad May is going to clear Michael Atwell for second. Now it's going to be the battle of the nine cars as Brad May is trying to reel in the other nine of Chiquette. So the two nine cars look to be look like they're about to get into a battle for the lead here. And we're not even a quarter of the way done with this race, folks. And the wind is picking up up here. The wind is picking up up here. I don't know if the microphone is picking it up, but the wind is really picking up here. Not that I'm complaining, because after the breeze came in, the humidity really set in. I mean, you can see the steam rising out of the trees that are on the hill up beyond three and four. Top four trying to pull away a little bit. Brandon Lynn gets loose. Brandon Lynn goes up the track. Here comes Anthony Sergi on the inside for fifth. So, about, so Lynn slipped up the racetrack a little bit, and Anthony Sergi slipped by him for the fifth spot in the MGS Concrete Chevy number 20. Up front is still Jeff 
Jeff Chiquette and Brad May, followed by Michael Atwell in fourth. Jeff Chiquette in fifth. Tommy fourth. Anthony Cerci is fifth. Brandon Lynch sixth. David Rogers seventh. Eighth it is Ben Nolan. Ninth it is Doug Elliott. Doug Elliott, the local driver in that seven car from right here in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. Here we go as the as the leaders are making their way around the 57 of Mark Logan. And we have a car off the pace. That's the 01. The 01 car off the pace through three and four. If that 01 car can get to pit road, there will be no caution flag thrown. But if he cannot get to pit road, the caution will come out. And the 01 has made it to pit road, no caution. But Brad May has reeled in. He's trying to reel in Jeff Jaquette lap after lap. Now, Brad May's wife, who doubles as his father, is standing up here next to me on the tower. And she's calling that brand new car. And they were crossing their fingers, uh, hoping to get it out of it. But I think he'll get the full race out of this. As Brad May trying to get to the inside of Chiquette as they're coming up to a slower car that's the 17 of Blaze Hetznecker. Hetznecker, back in 2015, was a dominant force out here in this track. He was part of a, back in 2015, he was part of a three-way battle for the Pro Lake Model Track Championship alongside Zach Jarrell and Noah Kornman. And now Hetznecker is back and he's doing the crew of things. The Holly Hill based driver is running a super late down at Auburndale, which is a quarter mile bull ring. And now he's back at New Smyrna. Right now, Brad May trying to get around Jeff Chiquette for the win. The lead here, he's right on his bumper. There's one lap in the way, Hunter lap race. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we're not even a quarter of the way in. And Brad May trying to run like it's the last time desperately as they're coming up to the 57 of Wilkins again. So right now the leaders have to contend with some slower traffic. There goes Atwell and Sergi by. Getting around the 17 seconds. Here we go now, May trying to get around the Jet Concrete Special number. Oh, so we're going to have an accident there. 57 of Wilkins diving to the bottom to get out of Anthony Searchy's way. But up front it is still Brad May in the nine. He's coming in close to Cody Jet. Black flag, there is a black flag being displayed. We don't know what part of the black flag is for the 57 of Mark Wilkinson. The black flag has come out for the 57 of Wilkins. He's going too slow on the racetrack. They're saying he is too slow on the racetrack. There is a black flag for the 57 being displayed. And Brad May gets right up on Jeff Chickett's bumper as they come up with two. Down the back straightaway. Brad May is going to try the outside. Can he get there in time? No, Chiquette's car moves up to throw the block. Chiquette. May is not letting Chiquette out of his sight. He is really looking forward to it. 57 is still on the track despite the black flag being continually waved. We have a battle for the fifth spot now between David Rogers and Daniel Keane. David Rogers appears to have the spot by a nose at the line. Right now they're going to get around that 57 of Wilkinson who is probably going to pull off the track this time around because that black flag did come out for him being too slow. And Brad May still trying to reel in Jeff Chiquette. Pretty fast lap times. Last lap by was an 18 59 here we go now, battle for third. Anthony Sergi dives to the inside of Michael Atwell. And Anthony Sergi gets third away from Michael Atwell. Driving the inside. Battle for fifth. And between Daniel Keane and David Rogers. Rogers has that bottom line on lock as they come up before. And Dave Rogers is trying to get fifth away from Daniel Keane, which he will. Right now, up front, it is 
still Brad May, is still the nine car, is still both of our nine cars of Jeff Chiquette and Brad May. Is He's trying to think of every way he can to get around that red jet concrete special. We have another car slowing down off the pace in the back straightaway. That is Blaze Hetchbacker in the second He's off the pace. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, this race. I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to jinx it. This race is going by very quickly here. These 100 laps are going to come flying off the board very fast. Here comes Brad May to the bottom. Brad May tried the bottom, not going to work. Brad May. Trying to think of how he can get around the nine Jet in his white number nine. He's trying to go low. Right now they're coming up with some slower traffic. The seven of Doug Elliott and They're going to catch them here in the coming lap. Chris is not going to run away that you can and hope for when he got out to a fast car in the front, but they really close to him in that nine. We have a battle for the fourth spot in the win between the 51 of Atwell and the 11 of Rogers. Brad May keeps trying to stick down the inside, but Chiquette is, knows how to position his car to prevent May from going all the way down to that bottom line. Right now, they're going to have to be traffic to start flying around. All right, battle for the fourth spot, side by side. The 11 of Dave Rogers gets forced away from the 51 of Michael Atwell. Blaze Hexnecker, who was on the pit, is uh, rolling again. I don't think he'll rejoin the field, but there appears to be a fire on the underbelly. Here we go down the front straightaway. Lower traffic, drips up May, but he was trying to get to the inside of the again. Now he's going to slide again once they get past the slower traffic. They've gotten around the 58. They're coming up. Leaders coming up on some slower traffic. The 7 of Doug Elliott and the 50 of Jet Nolan. Coming down the front straightaway. 37 out of 100 laps are in the books. Just totally above Brad May, not too far behind in second. Leaders. Right now, it's a blistering pace being set. Because right now, here comes that 20 of Anthony Surge. He certainly just went by as a third. Putting a little bit of a push in there. Not as far back 
as it is from him to third place driver Anthony Sturgis, who just got past the lap number 50 of Jet Nolan. But it's still a pretty far gap between the first and third place car, but not very far between the first and second. Uh, right now, Brad May trying to figure out how to come up with a way to get around the protect as we're nearing the halfway mark, as we're nearing the halfway point of this race. You know, earlier tonight when we were waiting for the track to dry off, uh, the track was giving away $100 K&N gift cards because tonight is not only Skip's Western Outlet night of the races, it's also K&N night of the races. And a former driver out here at this track appeared in uh, $100 gift cards during the giveaways. Jeff Cuddy, who used to race in the Super Stocks, is out here tonight in the grandstands as a spectator. He came out and won one of the $100 gift cards that was up for grabs in the giveaway. So, uh... Jeff said that his car is at home right now. He'd love to be back out here racing, but he needs sponsors. So even though he's not out here racing tonight, it was still great to see Jeff Cuddy out here again. Right now, we are halfway done with tonight's Fly Hart Memorial 100. The scoring pylon is uh, working for us this week. Last week, it wasn't, but we're halfway done with tonight's race. And Jeff Chiquette still out front in that bright red jet contract number nine. The one driver we haven't seen out here in a while, and we're going to focus on him here as he comes around. That 5K of Daniel Keen Jr. running right there in the sixth spot behind the 51 of Michael Atwell. That this this race is the first time in a while we've seen that 5K out here. And he's closing on the 51 of Atwell, so. Again, it's great to see some drivers that we haven't heard in a while uh, come back out here and run. We haven't seen Atwell in a while, and it was really great to see uh, Brandon Lynn come out here and run a race in that 97. Doug Elliott's number seven has come back out of the track and rejoined us. He had a little problem that he got fixed, and he's going to come out here and try and finish this race. And you know, He's a regular in this division at this track, so Elliott's trying to use this event to get as many track points as he can to count towards that track championship. Outside of May and Elliott, you know, and Sergi, Sergi's back up here trying to run on a regular basis out here as well. Uh, they just kind of these guys kind of bounce around the state of Florida, racing the big events at other tracks. Right now, as uh, and May are making their way around the slower car, slower car that 58. Brad May had Chiquette reeled in there for a bulk of the first half of that race when he got into second, but now Chiquette's starting to pull away a little bit from Brad May as we are over the halfway point in tonight's Clyde Hart Memorial 100. Chiquette is the defending winner of this race in that nine car. And he's trying to go back to the and ladies and gentlemen, I think the rain is starting to come in. There's a few drops out here. I think the rain could be coming back at New Smyrna Speedway. We were in a rain delay earlier, and I'm feeling a few drops on my head. The rain is back at New Smyrna, ladies and gentlemen. The rain is back. Let's see how much more of this race we can use in. We're over the halfway point, so the rain comes in now, and the race is rained out. The race will be called in Chiquette. Laps are complete in tonight's race. They're still racing. The rain isn't too bad out here, but some cars in the end are getting covered in parts. Chiquette still up out front in that nine. the lights you can see the raindrops coming down so we're gonna see how much longer until uh, the rains really start coming down and this thing gets called. But up front it's still nine of Chiquette. But the 
other number nine of Brad May in second. Anthony Sergi is in third. Dave Rogers is in fourth, and Michael Atwell rounds out the top five in the 51. And the caution is out. The rain has returned at New Smyrna Speedway. Caution is out. So the caution is out. Jeff Chiquette is leading. They're going to try and wave some of these lower cars around in the way. Keen, Lynn, Nolan, and Elliot out to get around. And the caution has come out again. The rain is starting to come down here at the New Smyrna Speedway. 62 of 100 laps are in the books tonight. of John Kaufman dives into the pit lane but there is a caution flag out around the racetrack for rain Oh, no, wait, they're going to go double up. The rain is still coming down, and they're going to have them double up. They're going to try and finish this race. The rain isn't very heavy. Not going to lie to you. The rain isn't, the rain isn't very heavy. It's been stock bars run on slick tires, not shredded tires. If the track gets wet, there's not really a whole lot they can do, but they're going to double them up and have them keep running since the rain isn't very heavy. We're 62 of 100 laps in, and they're going to try and finish this thing, even if it kills them. Well, I hope nobody gets hurt, but... They're going to finish this race. They're going to finish this race, even if it's the last thing this track does. Even with this rain coming in, it's a major event. People from all over the country. Now the caution flag is going to come back out. Since NASCAR is doing their major events over in Daytona, this race is a very big draw. We have fans from as far north as Montreal, Canada, who came out here for tonight's racing program, and the rain is starting to come down a bit. A harder. Uh, it appears we may possibly enter a rain delay, but the caution flag is still out. Red flag has not been displayed yet. Caution flag still out. We went through a rain delay. We were supposed to start at 7:30, but the delay pushed this track pushed the start of the races back till about 9:15 when the super stocks rolled off for the first feature event of the night. Caution flag still out, no red flag yet. Jeff Chiquette still the race leader. But the rain is coming back here in Central Florida. The rain is coming back. Like I said, if you look up at the, up at the lights there, you can see the rain coming down. It has returned, ladies and gentlemen. The rain has returned. What put us in this delay in the first place? Now, once again, the red flag has not been displayed yet. Caution flag is still out on the on the racetrack. Caution flag is still out. Rain's starting to come down a little bit harder now. Now they're going to bring the field down pit road. Right now, the 58 of John Kaufman is being waved by, but they're, trying, but they're going to wave the cars down pit road as the rain is beginning to come down a little bit harder now. The red flag is going to be displayed, and we are going to go into rain delay mode. Jeff Chiquette is the race leader, followed by Brad May, Anthony Sergi, David Rogers, Michael Atwell, Daniel Keene, Brandon Lynn, Jet Nolan, Doug Elliott, and John Kaufman. Right now, they're going to bring the field down pit road. The official is displaying the red flag. And right now, we are going to go into rain delay mode with Jeff Chiquette still leading in the nine. All right, we are back after a short rain delay. Uh, the cars are rolling out onto the track. 62 of 100 laps are in the books, and we're going to finish the Clyde Hart Memorial 100 tonight. 
right now as they come back out on the track. It's going to be Jeff Chiquette in the 9 leading this race, followed by Brad May in the other number 9. Anthony searching in the 20. Then it's going to be David Rogers in the 11, Michael Atwell in the 51, Daniel Keene in the 5K, and Brandon Lynn in the 97 rolling off off the pit road. It's going to be the 50 of Jet Nolan. He needs to get pushed. Jet Nolan's getting a push from his crew to get started, and he will come out in that 50. You're also going to have Doug Elliott in the 7, and the 58 is going to be John Kaufman. Currently behind the wall and out of the race, the 17 of Blaze Hetznecker and the 57 of Mark Wilkins. But we had a brief rain delay. We are back racing tonight. Jet Nolan and Doug Elliott have Jet Nolan needed a bit of a push from his crew to get going, but that 50 car is going to finish this race by golly. And that nine car, Chiquette, that red car out there. Jeff the Jet is out front leading this race, and he is, uh, it's been all, it's been the Jeff Chiquette show ever since he got the lead. Brad May was up close to him a few times in that first half, and then started putting a little bit of distance between the two of them, and then the rain came. And after a short little delay, not la not lasting even 10 minutes, we're back out racing, getting everybody warmed up again. The covers came back. We're going to finish this race. After this, we still have three more events. We have the Sportsman Dash for Cash. The Modifieds are going to come out and run their feature, and the Bombers. So here we go to finish the Clyde Hart Memorial 100. Everything getting warmed up. Tires getting warmed up. We're about to go super late model racing and finish the Clyde Hart Memorial. Right now, our track PA announcer, Ryan Stevens, has given away some freebies to the crowd. So Ryan's down there doing his doing his thing. He's going all the way down to the turn to turn four. All right, everybody's getting the double up signal. Chiquette's going to choose the outside lane. So May is going to restart on the inside. So everyone getting the double up signal. The Daytona Dodge Pace truck still has the caution lights on. Tonight, it's not only the Clyde Hart, it's the Clyde Hart Memorial 100, which is brought to you by Skip's Western Outlet and k &M, which is why we had some uh, giveaways, such as a K&N flag and $100 K&N gift cards before the races began while we were drying the track off. Now, while we were drying the track off, we had a special uh, vehicle out here. There it is down in the pits, that red Toyota. Zoom in on that down there, that, that big red dryer. The Daytona International Speedway was gracious enough to loan the new Smyrna Speedway this since the big NASCAR guys are going to be racing at Daytona on Saturday in the Coke Zero Sugar 400 and the red flag is coming back out. The red flag's coming back out. Okay, but the Daytona International Speedway was gracious enough to allow us to borrow that Second red flag is coming out. So a second red flag has come out. We had a bit of a firework display during that second delay. Very beautiful fireworks. But right now they've stopped and they're checking the cars for something. They're checking the grills on the cars to make sure, and they're doing this because the fireworks went off during the rain delay, or brief rain delay. Right now, we've stopped the race temporarily so the officials can check the cars to see if any of the de any possible debris from the fireworks was caught up in anyone's grills. Now the caution flag is back out and we are back rolling. So after a brief delay, to check to make sure nobody picked up any of the debris from the fireworks and their grills or on their tires, we've put the caution flag back out. We are now racing. We're now back to caution flag laps. Uh, Jeff Chiquette in the red number nine has chosen the outside lane. He is a race leader. The white number nine that is Brad May in second. Followed by Anthony Sergi and Dave Rogers. Michael Atwell, Daniel Keene Jr., Brandon Lynn, 
Jet Nolan, Doug Elliott, and John Kaufman. Yellow flag is still, caution flag is still out, but we did. Now the question is, does anybody have anything for that red number nine of Jeff Chiquette? Our, our, the, tonight we have two PA announcers, our regular announcer Ryan Stevens and Wes Hoach is up there in the booth giving him some assistance. They referred to him as Jeff the Jet, which is a nod to both his speed and his sponsor of Jet Concrete. And, and uh, let me tell you, he's been a jet tonight. That car has been blazing fast. That bright red number nine, Jet Concrete Chevy, blazing fast tonight. And uh, the question is, does anybody have an answer for him? Again, 62 of 100 laps are in the books. We are over the halfway mark. One more lap to go until we go back. Green flag racing. Lights are out on the Daytona Dodge Pace Truck and around the track. Daytona Dodge Pace Truck is going to go pulling into the pit lane. These super late model drivers are going to wait for the green flag to come out. Green flag is out. We're back racing. Just to catch like a rocket into turn one. Here comes David Rogers to the outside. David Rogers is going to try and challenge Brad May for second as they go back to three and four. Rogers is going to stay a tough on the outside, but May still on the bottom. Coming to the line, Brad May still has second by a nose, but Dave Rogers still on the outside. Dave Rogers Coming off of turn two, Rogers is going to try and get second from May. But Brad May still going to hang as close as he can on the bottom. Here comes Anthony Sergi in the 20. Coming off of turn four, David Rogers has cleared Brad May for second by sliding across his nose. Rogers slid across May's nose, got a bit loose, but Jeff Chiquette still out front in the red number nine, but new second place as David Rogers in the 11. Let's see if he can track down Chiquette. Now Brad May is back in third, Anthony Searcy in the 20. Trying to see about how he can get around him for third. Searcy trying to close up on May. You know, before the race started as well, we had a drawing uh, by the track owner, Robert Hart. The man that was pulled out of the pack was one of these drivers, and that driver got $1,000. The driver that won the drawing is your second place driver, David Rogers. So he won $1,000 in the pre-race drawing. But right now, Jeff Chiquette still up front in that red number nine. Seven laps in the books. These cars are trying to get warmed up. Rogers trying to reel in Chiquette. Chiquette is the defending winner of this race, and he's trying to go back to back in the Clyde Hart Memorial 100. He's up front. We'll show him the way, but Rogers looks like he's trying to reel him in. Rogers appears to have reeled him in a bit, but Chiquette seems to get a great run straight away. Looks like Rogers can gain a little bit in the corners, but when they come off those corners, Chiquette just extends it a bit. Coming down to the line to complete lap number 70. 30 laps to go in the 2018 Glide Hart Memorial, and we still have three more races to go after this. The 10 lap Sportsman Dash for Dash, along with the 20 lap Bomber feature, and the modifiers are going to go for 35 laps. So that's how, so we still have the races after this one. Looks like Brad May is trying to close in on David Rogers to get that second spot back. Brad May trying to make it a battle for the second spot between him and Dave Rogers. He's closing in now. Rogers gonna, Rogers gonna slip up high. May trying to go to the bottom. All right, battle for second could be on. Here comes Brad May to the bottom. Side by side for second as they go down the back straightaway. Brad May on the bottom. Dave Rogers on top and Brad May screams into second. But here comes Dave Rogers right back on this trail. All of 
that battling back there. That's good for Jeff Chiquette. He sees that as a positive. As he was able to extend that lead a little bit. Chiquette's been, uh, run. It's all been the Jeff Chiquette show ever since he's gotten the lead. But we'll see if May Rogers or even searching at 24 have an answer for him. are complete and Jeff Chiquette is still up front extending his absolute dominance in this race. We have a battle for the fifth spot brewing between Daniel Keene and Michael Atwell. Here is the battle for fifth. Michael Atwell's on the inside of Daniel Keene, trying to get to the bottom there. Michael Atwell to the inside, Keene up high. Daniel Keene seems to have a bit of an advantage up top, but that's the battle for the fifth spot between him and Atwell. With Brandon Lynn lurking back there in that 97. Here goes Atwell to the bottom. Atwell is going to go to the bottom. Try the bottom, but that didn't work. Here we go. He's going to try again. Michael Atwell on the bottom. Keen up top. Daniel Keaton still has fifth. But right now, if Atwell has anything for Keaton. He's been all over that back bumper there for the last few laps now. 82 of 100 laps are down. Now at 83. And the has the line. Here we go again off the floor. Side by side down to turn one. Atwell going to try and stay to the bottom. With Keen up top. Again, that is the battle for the fifth between Daniel Keen in the 5K and Michael Atwell in the 51. Brandon Lynch is down there in the 7. In the 97. side for the sixth spot. Lynn on the bottom of the 97. Atwell up top of the 51. And Michael Atwell's going to keep the sixth spot as they go off of two down the back of the Look at the last three cars in the lead lap right now trying to make the round that 58 of John Walker. And they do. Jeff Chiquette still the leader in that nine. Right now the leaders are making their way around the slower car. That's the seven of Doug Elliott. Jeff Chiquette is going to come to the line. It is ten laps to go. Ten laps to go at the line. 
for race leader Jeff Chiquet. Week 10th in tech lap. We'll see if anyone has an answer for him. Because that car is blistering fast here tonight. Here we go. Battle for Fitness still heating up. Michael Atwell at the line. Atwell by a nose has fifth. Daniel Keene looks like he's going to regain that, try to regain that spot at turn two. Michael Atwell on the bottom. Atwell moved Keene up to the wall. Atwell put Keen Bounce Keen off the wall. He's going to move into fifth, and Brandon Lynn is going to follow him into sixth. So an exciting battle for him. He's been for several laps. He's in Keen bouncing off the wall in two, and he lost a couple of spots because as Atwell moved into fifth, Brandon Lynn moved into sixth to 97. But up front, it is still just the 10. With 93 laps in the book, seven remaining. Next time by, it's going to be 94 laps to go with six. There you see the uh, 50 of Jet Nolan go by. And here comes your race leader, Chiquette, down the front stretch. Dave Rogers in the 11, trying to close in on the white and white. And they second. You know, Jeff Chiquette absolutely dominant in this race. Defending race winner, trying to go back to back. At the 5K of Daniel Keene pulls into the pit. Five laps to go. And the 5K of Daniel Keene has pulled into the pits. Something has gone wrong on the 5K. I think when he bounced off the wall, maybe a fender got pushed in and there's probably a tire rub. Five laps remaining and the 5K of Keen is in the pits. I think it might be a result of damage caused from bouncing off the wall and that Keen is battling in this spot with Michael Atwell. Modifieds are heading to pit road. The open wheel modifieds are set to go for 25 laps. They will be our next feature event. Coming out of turn number four, to take the checkered flag. It's going to be the number nine of Jeff Chiquette. Chiquette absolutely dominated this race. And he uh, is going to the Hampton Inn victory lane. As you can see everybody else going by here from Club Yale, seven. Here comes our last couple of competitors, the 58 of John Kaufman and the 58 of Jet Nolan. Coming by to take the checkered flag and finish the 100 laps. But ladies and gentlemen, here he is, coming down the front straightaway into the Hampton in victory lane. The winner of the 2018 Clyde Hart Memorial 100, driving the number nine Jet Concrete Chevrolet, Jeff Chiquette. 